Tensions continue to flare in Northern Ireland after a police officer was gunned down Monday night. The officer was shot while sitting in his patrol car in the religiously divided town of Craigavon. The murder comes two days after Irish Republican Army dissidents shot to death two British soldiers. This recent spate of violence has put a decade-long peace agreement in jeopardy. Uh, let me be very clear on a couple of things. First of all, this will not put off me or my officers delivering the service we do to the communities we are paid to protect. That will continue unrelenting as it has done in the threats that we have been facing for the last nine to 12 months. British security chiefs have now appealed for the public's help in finding the soldiers killers, a hunt that may challenge Catholics to inform on their own. I think the people of County Antrim, in the way that they responded to the attack on Saturday evening, have shown all of us the way forward, which is that violence must be rejected. These people do, unfortunately, have the capacity to kill, but we must not allow them the capacity to undermine the political process. A splinter group from the IRA has claimed responsibility for Saturday's attack when two soldiers were killed when they walked out of their fort to collect pizzas from a delivery man. TV surveillance footage documented that two masked men waited in the bushes armed with assault rifles. The attackers fired off more than 60 bullets in less than 30 seconds, then fled on foot. These are criminal psychopaths determined to wreck what 99.9 .9 recurring percent of people in Northern Ireland want. Sinn Féin, the political wing of the IRA, has condemned the recent violence. The murders of the British soldiers were the first killings of British security forces in Northern Ireland in a dozen years. Brian Thomas, The Associated Press.